We're looking at the 3.2 lesson 3. At the 3.2 lesson. Are we there? Okay, let's go. So we're looking at 3.2 lesson 3. So the first question, I said lean root 1 minus x minus root 1 plus x squared divided by root 1 minus x squared minus root 1 minus x as x tends to 0 as x tends to 0 plus very simple when solving limit, the first thing we need to do is to replace x with limit point zero. Anyway, we'll see x will put zero, anyway, we'll see x will put So we're going to have root 1 minus 0 plus root 1 plus 0 square all over root 1 minus 0 square minus root 1 minus 0. Last is how we solve this. One minus zero is one plus one plus zero square is still one all over root one minus zero square is still one minus root one root one plus root one square root of one is one square root of one here is also all over square root of one here is one square root of one here is also so class we have one plus one is two the question is minus, wait, which part is minus? This up. So it's true minus. So we have minus here and we have minus here. Thanks for the correction. Our question started with minus, so it should be minus. So 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 1 is also what? And this leads us to an indeterminate function. Now, indeterminate, you know what it means, we have to differentiate. But now, we we'll have to be very careful. We can see that we have a question that contains square roots. So differentiate square roots is more difficult than differentiate just x or x squared. So we have to be very careful and pay attention here. So class, anytime we have 0 over 0, we know what we usually do with differentiate because it means the function is indeterminate, so we have to differentiate. So we differentiate root 1 minus x, differentiate root 1 plus x squared, differentiate root 1 minus x squared, differentiate root 1 minus x. So we have four things to differentiate and they all have square root. Class, follow me please. So let's start with root 1 minus x. Class root 1 minus x must understand this the same thing as 1 minus x raised to power 1 over 2. Class, the square root of any value is that value raised to power 1 over 2. We also have root 1 plus x squared is also 1 plus x squared raised to power 1 over then down here we have root 1 minus x squared is 1 minus x squared raised to the power 1 over 2. And the fourth one we have root 1 minus x is the same thing as 1 minus x raised to the power 1 over. Class, note that we have not yet differentiated. I'm just telling you that the square root of any variable is that variable raised to the power 1 over 2. The square root of x is x raised to the power 1 over 2. The square root of y is y raised to the power 1 over 2. Now let us apply differentiation class. I like to apply, this is kind of function is called a composite function, also known as function of function. To differentiate a function like this, there's a shorter method of doing it. I think I've taught something like this in class too. If you can come into class, but there's no problem, let's do it together. When you see a function like this in a bracket and it has a power on top, there's a shorter way of differentiating stuff like this. There are four steps. There are four then the first step is to bring down the power 1 over 2. Bring down your power 1 over. Second step is to differentiate what you have inside the bracket. What do we have inside the bracket? 1 minus. If you differentiate 1, you're going to have 0. For differentiate minus x, you have minus 1. Minus what? Convention of x is 1, right? So convention of minus x should be minus 1. If you differentiate x, you have 1. So minus x must give us minus. So as I come again, when you have a function like this, the first thing bring down the power 1 over 2. Second thing, differentiate what you have in the bracket, minus 1. Third thing, repeat what you have in the bracket, 1 minus x. And the last thing, subtract 1 from the power. Our power is 1 over 2. 1 over 2 minus 1. It give you minus 1 over 2. Class. I don't want what you have on top here to confuse what we have under. So let me clear. So class, 
I haven't gotten to this place, class. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1 all over 2 here. So we have minus 1 all over 2 into bracket 1 minus x raised to power minus 1 over 2. And class, this 1 minus x raised to minus 1 over 2 can come down and the minus will disappear from the power. So now be minus 1 all over 2 into bracket 1 minus x raised to power 1 over 2. So what happens is that this guy that is carrying the minus sign came down to join these two. Coming down means that the sign will change from minus to positive. That's why I don't that saying this minus here. When it was up, he had a minus sign in the power. When it comes down, the minus sign disappears. And class, do not forget that 1 minus x raised to power 1 over 2 can be returned back to the square root form. 1 all over 2 root 1 minus x. And class, this is the differentiation of square root of 1 minus x. So after differentiating square root of 1 minus x, it led us to this point. Minus 1 over 2 root 1 minus x. Class, we come to do the same thing here as I remember what I told you. When you have a function like this, called a function of function or composite function, first things first, bring down the power 1 over 2. When you bring down the power, second step, differentiate what you have inside the bracket. Our bracket is 1 plus x squared. Differentiate 1, you have 0. Differentiate x squared, you have 2x. So first step, bring down the power. Second step, differentiate the bracket. Third step, repeat what you have in the the last step, subtract 1 from the power. 1 over 2 minus 1 is minus 1 over class. We have 2 up here. We have 2 down here. So 2 can cancel 2. We are left with just x. We are left with just x into brackets. 1 plus x squared raised to the power minus 1 over 2. Class. This minus can disappear if this 1 plus x squared comes down. So it now becomes x all over 1 plus x squared raised to the power 1 over no more minus because it has come down and this now x all over square root 1 plus x squared class this is the differentiation of square root of 1 plus x squared after differentiating square root 1 plus x squared how do we do it square root 1 plus x squared becomes 1 plus x squared raised to the power 1 over 2 now this is not a differentiation this is just changing this to this this is where we actually started differentiating. When differentiating, we bring down the power 1 over 2. Step 1, bring down the power 1 over... Step 2, differentiate what you have inside the bracket. Differentiate 1, you have 0, right? It's a constant. Differentiate x squared, you have 2. Step 3, repeat what is in the bracket. Look at the bracket again. And the final step, subtract 1 from the power. So if the power is 1 over 2, 1 over 2 minus 1 becomes minus 1 over... Now you can see that 2 can cancel 2 here, leaving us with only x, right? x times 1 is x. So you have x into bracket 1 plus x squared raised to minus 1 over 2. This 1 plus x squared raised to minus 1 over 2, when it comes down, the minus sign will go from the power. We now have x all over 1 plus x squared raised to 1 over 2. Now 1 plus x squared raised to 1 over 2 is the same thing as square root of 1 plus x squared. Class, we have two more to go. Once we differentiate these two, we have totally differentiated everybody in the function. We we'll then proceed from there. Class, following the same approach, if I'm to be faster here, after differentiating this, I will expect to have bring down 1 over 2. This becomes minus 2x. Repeat the bracket 1 minus x squared. Minus 1 all over 2. 2 can cancel 2 here. And to give us minus x all over square root 1 minus x squared. We do it very well, following the same procedure. Now for this guy, 1 minus x raised to 1 over 2. Our final answer, we have already done this guy. This guy, has to differentiate. this is the same thing, right? This guy and this guy are the same. So when you differentiate it, you see how we have there, minus 1 all over 2 root 1 minus x plus we have successfully differentiated the four major components of this question. Let us now go and apply. So what we now have is, differentiating 1 minus x, you have this. That is minus 1 all over 2 root 1 minus x minus, differentiating this, we have the second person, right? Minus x all over 
square root 1 plus x squared all over, you might take this guy, we have this, right? All over minus x, all over root 1 minus x squared. And when you this last guy, we have what we have on top here, which is minus 1 all over 2 root 1 minus. Now, don't forget that after the machine thing, you will take your limit point and place it into the function after the friend. So, anywhere we see x now, we can put what class? 0. Minus 1 over 2 root 1 minus 0. Minus 0 all over root 1 plus 0 squared. All over minus 0 over root 1 minus 0 squared minus 1 all over 2 roots 1 minus 0. What we just did now is substitute for x as 0. The power limit point is x tends to 0. Let's resolve class. I think everybody here will be 0 because 0 divided by anybody here is 0. So class, I, I just need to resolve this. This is minus 1 all over 2 roots 1 because 1 minus 0 is 1. 2 roots and 2 root 1 class is, square root of 1 is 1, and 2 times 1 is 2, so I have minus 1 all over 2, is what I have on top here, all over, class minus 0 all over everybody is 0, so I have to focus on who is here, this minus 1 all over 2 as well, because 1 minus 0 is 1, square root of 1 is 1, so I have minus 1 over 2 divided by minus 1 over 2, this means, follow me, Minus 1 over 2 divided by another minus 1 over minus 1 over 2 multiplied by 2 over minus 1. Minus cancels minus. 1 cancels 1. 2 here 1, 2 here 1. So my final answer to this limit is 1. The final answer to this limit is 1. Now come with me. Kindly stop that. Stop that part.